Hey guys, I'm Justin with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a closer look at and installing the American Modified Armor Upper Replacement Grill available with the LED lighting for all 2009 to 2014 F-150s, excluding the Raptor. Now, you should be checking out the Armor Grill for your F-150 if you're looking to grab, in my opinion, one of the most unique looking options in the category for the least amount of money that also kicks in some extra LED lighting. So as a self-described less is more fan, I have to say the American Modified Grill does look pretty cool. Now the twin bar design I think is reminiscent of the newer gen trucks and the little teeth, if you will, uh, do add a bit of aggressiveness to the front end overall. Now, aside from the drastically different appearance, I'd have to say another big feature here with this option will be the inclusion of your LED lighting across the front here, which has been nicely integrated into the grill itself. Now, American Modified doesn't give us any hard data surrounding these in regards to total output or lumens, but seeing them in action here in the shop, they are sure to give you a nice boost when needed on a dark back road or trail at night. Now moving into construction and like most aftermarket grills, you're going to find a durable yet lightweight injection molded ABS plastic design finished in a dark matte black. Now this is a complete replacement guys, meaning it's gonna fit much like a factory part, totally replace your stock grill and does so without the need for any cutting or permanent modification. Now, finally guys, the kit does include all of your wiring here, basic power and ground stuff uh, to get the actual light bar fired up along with the added hardware needed to get the physical grill in place. Also like to point out here too guys that if you wanted to further customize the look with the armor grill, you can always paint a portion or the entire grill itself. That is totally up to you. Price point's gonna hover right around 300 bucks for something that incorporates LED lighting. That's gonna be very hard to come by at this price point for this particular gen truck. Switching gears, let's get into the install guys and site's gonna call this a pretty strong one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, about an hour or so to complete from start to finish. Now, physically swapping out the grill itself really shouldn't be all that bad, but again, the small amount of power and ground wiring needed to get that light bar up and running. That's probably gonna take you, I would say, the most out of the entire job. But uh, what do you say we head out to the shop? Let's check out our detailed walkthrough and tool breakdown. Hi, everyone. Today, we're installing a grill on our F-150, so let's get started with the uninstall of the old grill first. All right, to remove our grill, we've got six nuts at the top, 10 millimeter, we've got one on the outside, four on the inside, and one more on the outside here. And then we've got two 10 millimeter bolts at the bottom that we need to take off, and then we can just pull the grill out. So let's go ahead and get those taken care of. So here's our 10 millimeter on the outside. And then we've got one on the inside here. and then one at the bottom. Now we've got three more at the top on the inside of these two support bars. One more on the outside at the top. And then the one here at the bottom. Now with those nuts and bolts removed, you should just pull the grill straight out. And it's off. Once we've got our grill out, now we need to transfer this support bar at the bottom of the grill to our new grill. And to do that, we're gonna need our T25 Torx bit to remove six screws at the bottom. Now you can lift that off and we're gonna transfer this over to our new grill. 
So now we'll just put our cross brace on top of our new grill. And using the original hardware, we'll go ahead and secure it to the new grill. Now we just tighten it down with our T25 Torx bit. Now we're ready to install it on the truck. And with our lower support brace already installed, we can go ahead and install the grill on the truck. Keep in mind that we've got five tabs at the very top that go into these slots, and then the bolt will come through the original one. Now the kit also comes with new nuts to secure it, so we're good there. Now we're going to install our new nuts on our upper studs. And then we'll tighten those down with our 10 millimeter socket. And we'll tighten these down as well. Now we're going to install our two lower support bolts and tighten those down with our 10 millimeter as well. Now with our grill installed, we can go ahead and run the wiring for our off-road lights that are in the center of the grill. Now we're gonna run ours through this upper support bracket and down underneath the hood insulation as well. And then we're gonna tap into our parking light next connected to our headlight. So let's go ahead and get that done. First thing we're gonna do is remove the two outside clips that are holding our hood insulation on to the hood. So we're gonna use our trim removal tool and just get underneath this push pin and just pry it out. Do the same thing with the upper one. Now we're gonna run our wire through the hole in our upper support bracket here and then down through the insulation. And we'll just pull that wire down to the bottom of the insulation at the back of the hood. Now, once that's done, you can go ahead and put your push pins back in. And move on to the next step. Now, there are several different ways that you can hook up the lights in your grill. We've opted to just go ahead and tap into our headlight harness. So, our wiring harness is a little short, so we're going to go ahead and extend that. To do that, you're gonna need a set of wire strippers and crimpers, and we're just gonna take off about a quarter to three eighths of an inch off the end of these wires here, and off of our extension wires 
And then we're going to use a butt connector to connect the two together. So once you've stripped the insulation off the wiring harness itself, go ahead and twist the wires together just to make sure that they don't fray when you put them into the connector. Now we'll go ahead and strip the two ends of our extension wires. and do the same thing to them. Now we'll go ahead and insert our wires into our butt connectors and crimp them down using our crimping tool. And then just give it a little tug just to make sure that it's secured. Now we can go ahead and connect them to our wiring harness for the lights. All right, now with our extension wires hooked up, we can go ahead and remove our headlight so that we can tap into that. Now to remove our headlight, we're gonna have two 10 millimeter bolts here at the top and one here on the side. So we'll just go ahead and take those out with our 10 millimeter socket. Now we get this one on the side here. And then we should just be able to pull the headlight straight out. Now we can go ahead and run our harness for our lights down alongside of the fender here and into the headlight well. To do that, we're gonna go behind this wiring harness right here, just to keep things out of the way. And then we'll run it under the hood sensor and then down in front of this pad right here. Now you can go ahead and zip tie this up when you're all finished, just to make sure that it doesn't move and it doesn't interfere with anything. Now, as you can tell, we've already tapped into our parking lights here using a T-tap. So all we have to do is put a spade connector on the end of our wires. Now there are several different ways that you can do this. You can use just a typical quick connect clamp here, or you can use a T-tap. So since ours already has the T-taps on it, we're just gonna go ahead and install a spade bit on the end of our wires and plug them in. So again, we're just gonna strip about a quarter to three eighths of an inch off the end of our wires. Twist the ends. and install our spade bit. We use our wire crimper to crimp it on there. And do the same thing for the other wire. Now with our spade bits connected, we can go ahead and plug them into our parking lights. Now, you want to do a test first to make sure that which one is your positive and which one is your ground. Typically, your black wire is going to be your ground and your colored wire is going to be your positive. So since we already know that on ours, we're going to connect our red wire to the yellow wire and our brown wire to the black wire. Now with that done, you can go ahead and test your lights to make sure that you've got them hooked up correctly before you start putting everything else back together. Now with our lights all tested and we make sure that they all work, we go ahead and reinstall our headlight. And secure it with the original hardware. Tighten it down with our 10 millimeter socket. And there you go. And that wraps up our review and install of the American Modified Armor Upper Replacement Grill with LED off-road lights in the black finish for the 09 to 14 F-150 excluding Raptor. Thanks for watching and remember, for all things F-150,
keep it right here at americantrucks.com.